Hello everyone, welcome to the Zero Shot Gaming Test World. This is a uh, single player at the moment, and on here I'm going to start doing a few tutorials. Now, this I'm going to call the Tutorial Tower. At the moment, it's just a cube, it's got some solar panels on top. The first two tutorials will be on doors, probably quite boring, but we'll get on to uh, standard vanilla redstone and all sorts of other stuff soon. So, this is the first door, quite compact, very simple. Just uses pistons. And then this will be the second episode. And I really like it, it's really cool. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make the other door. See you in a sec. Welcome back. Now, imagine this is a room, and this is your house, and you want to hide the entrance from everyone. You want a simple way to do it, and you don't want it to fill up half the room and need loads of space. So what I've done is I've devised a way to uh, simplify the standard redstone uh, sticky piston door. Now, the first thing you want to do is place down pistons that will move the actual door and have space for the redstone that activates them behind them. So if the pistons go from the block that uh, is the door to away, so there. Um, and on this design you can make it as high as you want. I could have this whole thing as one large piston door. Now you want to do this on both sides, so this is the stone. Leave one gap and then place the piston. And then clear out the pit behind it. Next you want to put some red alloy wire along uh, the piston so that they all activate at the same time. Quite simple. You then want to go underneath. This is still quite simple. It's just... Get under here. Place down your pressure plates. If you want to activate it with pressure plates, you can use a button for this, you just have to wire it slightly differently. And then throw on a red alloy wire to collect those signals. Run it through the middle. Like so. Now where am I? Okay, so I want the other pressure plates to be here. So wait, where was that? That was yeah, one fourth. Here and here. Link them up. And then you need to run that signal over to here, on both sides, which isn't hard. Oops, one too low. So from here, just done, done, done. The great thing about uh, Red Power's Red Alloy Wire is that you can place it on any surface at any angle, upside down or anything, which makes it really versatile, really useful. Now if you do this, and if I place the stone in place. This will always be open. And uh, luckily there is one block, one tiny block, that will invert all pulses. So when the red source signal is off, it will send out a pulse. And when you turn this signal on, it will hit this block and turn it off. This is called a knot gate. You can find it in uh, NEI. And the recipe is quite complicated. So you need anode, cathode, wafers and stuff. To get wafers you just smelt uh, smooth stone in furnace cathode is wafer and a redstone torch etc etc. You can look those all up in any eye if you have the Feed the Beast double 20 pack. You want to face in the direction you want the knot gate to activate and place it down and then this as you see is on closing the door when you're not pressing the pressure plate. Now if I put one on the other side as well you have successfully completed the working parts of a redstone door. Step on it, it closes. Done. Now, to cover this up, um, you can either build around it like this, or you know, cover it up properly, or you can use um, something called covers, which are made by using a saw on any block, pretty much. There's loads of blocks that use it: grass, dirt, smooth stone, chiseled stone, everything like that, and they can be placed on uh, blocks, and they're only that thick, so they cover it up really well. I'm gonna just finish putting these on everything and then show you when it's done. So there you have it, an inconspicuous redstone door with two, uh, just a bunch of pistons and a few red alloy wire, uh, alloy wire, and a tiny uh, knot gate on each side. Done. Perfect. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful, and uh, see you next time.